This is when I started seeing changes, physical changes, the changes that everyone was talking about in the fitness world. Well, hello everybody, welcome to my channel. What would be a better way to start my first YouTube video of 2023 other than my fitness journey? Let's talk about from the beginning. Freshman year, I was in cheerleading and track and all that good stuff. That's when I kind of started learning about calories and like for some reason in high school, 1200 calories was like, was like it like everyone talked about 1200 calories so i was like hmm and then i was introduced to fitness pal i wasn't out of shape or anything but that's when i kind of started realizing like oh i don't want to get any bigger than this because fat was always bad so like this is what i looked like in high school at the beginning like i think i was 14 or 15 years old but i remember thinking about my body and my weight every single day i remember being so embarrassed of my bum because it was so flat you know having a big butt was 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 in and i do not have a big butt moving on junior year i feel like junior year for everyone when you hit that 16 17 year old is the worst i don't know what happens like we are mentally just done we already have senioritis you can see like i'm starting to gain weight that kind of like lasted through junior year i did not work out at all i would binge eat i would eat a lot of candy and then moving on to senior year this is when I was kind of working out. Um, I got into this really good routine. I remember at the beginning of my senior year and I was running every day. So that didn't work out. And then I graduated. Like I would say overall through high school, it was just like always figuring out how to lose weight, like doing no sugar or I'm not gonna eat carbs for 30 days. Let's talk about after high school. I'm like 18, 19 years old. So I would say this is when things started changing and I was like, okay, like, I am the only one that can do anything about my lifestyle and the way I look and the way I feel. This is when I got really interested in weightlifting. I was seeing a lot of girls on Instagram and YouTube and they were talking about how to build your butt or like how you can change your figure without surgery. And I was like, sign me up. Like I said, I was always very insecure about my figure. I was like curvy, but like I had no bum. Like I will show you pictures like flat. It was all back, baby. And it's crazy now because like looking back, I genuinely was like, wait, you can grow a butt? Like you don't have to get surgery? Huh? I fell upon Whitney Simmons, which she is my OG. Like when I tell you the term healthy lifestyle, never heard about it until watching her channel. She was like the first person I started watching who would like explain what a dumbbell was or explain like workouts, supersets, like all these terminologies. I was like, okay, let's try this whole weightlifting thing, but I'm not going to a gym. Mm -mm, absolutely not. I didn't know anything about weightlifting. This is when I started to weightlift. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of like my very first workout. So I literally wrote it down and I had this talk with myself and I was like, okay, a healthy lifestyle. It doesn't mean like restriction. It doesn't mean that like you have to work out six times a week. That mindset really did help. And I did struggle a couple more years after this, but like this was definitely the spark that I needed. I didn't understand reps. I didn't understand sets. I didn't understand any of that. So like I literally would just watch YouTube. So my next step was I wanted to start lifting, but I didn't want to go in the gym. I started ordering adjustable dumbbell weights off of Amazon, which they were like 40 bucks and like you could change the weights on them. And I just started doing what Whitney did and just like focusing on my form. And like, I remember my hands were cramping up so bad just using five pound weights because like my hands have never lifted before. And this is like when I learned about consistency. I chose three days in the week, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Like, okay, one day's upper body, one day's lower body, and one day is full body. That is all I did. And I made sure I stuck to that for two months. I set a time in the morning. It was 7 a.m. sharp. Fast forward, I'm introduced to pre-workout and I have no idea like anything about caffeine. I've never had an energy drink. My childhood friend, her fiance, introduced me to a pre-workout that I'm pretty sure is illegal now, but it's called Sidewalk Cracker. When I tell you, this was the craziest I've ever felt. I remember I worked out for an hour and then I ran seven miles nonstop on this. So that was my first experience pre workout. I stopped taking that. And then when I started my three day a week consistent routine, got this pre workout that was on Amazon. It was like 25 bucks. It did the trick. Like I felt really motivated and I was like, okay, like I have no excuse. So this is when I join a gym. I was so nervous. I was going by myself. Biggest piece of advice is like if you're starting a new gym to have like a workout written down and like kind of start with what you know. So I knew dumbbells, like I knew how to do different exercises. I could do full body exercises like I was doing at home. When I tell you I was so nervous, y'all, like I would wake up and go at three in the morning. I had nowhere else to be, but I would go at three in the morning because I knew nobody was going to be there. And there was still some people there. 
it's crazy because like I remember taking my first gym selfie and like I have a picture of it right here you can see like how nervous I was and like how insecure I was like taking that picture and I remember someone walking in right after that and I was like like just like never mind this was when I was like 19 and a half and I took a gap year from high school and I was gonna go to college in Ohio I went to college in Ohio for one semester, but we don't need to talk about that This is when I made the gym a priority when I got to Ohio I kind of came across this influencer whose name is Mari and you guys probably know She's the owner of balloon nutrition her and her husband Greg and she had this it was like a lifting guide or a beginner guide And it was like Mari's fitness. This is when I kind of like made my routine go to college I would be studying forever in the library go to the gym and then I worked like 13 hours. This is when I started seeing changes, physical changes, the changes that everyone was talking about in the fitness world. My quads were getting muscles. I was seeing definition in my arms. My back was having like these lines I've never seen before. Now I'm not the fittest in these pictures, but you can see like I'm starting to get more confident. I was taking so many progress pictures. But like I said, I was beginning to gain like a lot of muscle, but I was also gaining weight and I was so confused because I'm like I'm working out okay I'm working out I was doing 30 to 45 minutes of Stairmaster I was like there's no way I'm like gaining weight but there's two reasons to that I was not very active outside of the gym I was in college all day and I was sitting down and the second part of that is I was also struggling with binge eating I would go to the gym but then I would eat an entire box of ding dong basically when you look at that that's technically considered like in fitness terms, a dirty bulk. You're gonna gain weight and you're gonna gain muscle because I was eating in a caloric surplus, but I was also lifting heavy. Your body's in a caloric surplus, a caloric surplus, and you're lifting heavy like that, you're gonna gain muscle, but you're also gonna gain body fat. It's so crazy like how much nutrition and diet is like a part of your fitness journey. Ah, oh, caffeine. Mm -mm -mm. My dream should be sponsored by Alani New. Mm. So good. Like I said, I only went to college for a one semester and then I dropped out. It was not for me. I moved back to Indiana. I'm starting to work in a factory and I'm working 10 hours a day on third shift and I am, I'm very consistent with the gym. I did lose some weight. You can see right here that like, I've lost some weight from Ohio because I was living a very sedentary lifestyle and then going to working 10 hours in a factory. Like I'm losing weight, right? And I'm working out. My diet still, mm, it's not the best, but it's getting better because I'm living on my own at like 19. But I was living on my own. So like I'm just in control of my own food, but I was, I was very poor, okay? I couldn't afford exactly all the foods. Now that I'm living on my own, I have more free time because I'm not in school anymore. I'm kind of at the intermediate level now, I would say. So now I'm learning about macros. I'm learning about caloric intake. I'm learning about deficit, surplus. I'm learning about hypertrophy, hypertrophy. Anyway, um, I'm learning about muscle growth. Stephanie Buttermore and Jeff Neppard, they have amazing videos that really break down the science of like exercises and the best exercises for certain body parts. When I'm like, okay, I need to buckle down. I need to learn the foundation of weightlifting. I need to learn the foundation of nutrition. I need to learn how to customize it for my body. It wasn't even about losing weight anymore. So this is when I changed my mindset rather than to lose weight. My mindset was to feel good. This is when I made a split. So my goal was to hit each muscle group two to three times a week for growth. So rather than just doing a lower body, upper body, lower body, upper body, now I'm focusing on isolating muscle groups. So Mondays, quads and glutes. Tuesdays, shoulders and triceps. Wednesdays, I'm doing hamstrings and glutes. And then Thursdays, back and bicep. Fridays, upper body. Saturday, lower body. I began to incorporate creatine into my daily diet. Was focusing more on protein-based foods. I'm no longer focusing on the calories I eat a day. I'm more so focusing on my macros. Going back to like the working out, I used to focus on like 10 to 15 reps at a time. Four sets of 10, four sets of 15. When my goals changed for building muscle, so it more so went to three sets of six, four sets of four. When I used to do my old, old workouts, I would do like 10 exercises, four sets of 15. I would not be worn out. That's why I could do an hour of cardio on the Stairmaster. But now my workouts, like I'm tired after like the second exercise, like the second compound because, which would be like a squat or a hip thrust. I'm putting more energy and focus into that muscle group. So when I started doing this, this is when I started seeing changes, people. I was working out for three years before this, right? You know, doing this, doing that. But when I started working out and making my splits and focusing on creatine and protein, pushing myself in the gym, I will show you in a couple months right here, 
this is like the changes I started seeing. From the moment I moved back to Indiana, you can start to see like my confidence. And here are some pictures like I take now. Like I would have never imagined myself in a sports bra. My intention is feeling confident in my skin. And like, honestly, I love looking at my muscles, okay? Like I love being a strong girl in the gym. Like it's crazy because just five years ago, I was feeling so tired and lethargic when I woke up in the morning. And now I feel great. It's not that I'm like restricting myself. I'm not restricting myself of anything. It's just like, I know what's gonna make me feel good and I know what's not gonna make me feel good. And a lot of this comes through trial and error. But the biggest transformation I saw was in my face. Like I look so alive and all glory to Jesus for this because not only did my relationship with Jesus grow, like I was realizing like your body was not made to for it to be abused. So you better, you better fix that. And like our bodies are temples, you know, and like we have to respect our bodies because you only get one baby. You only get one. The thing is though, don't wait till Monday. Don't wait till January 1st. Like start a healthy habit and make it consistent. Ending this video, I wanna give you guys three pieces of advice is you have to create something you can stay consistent with. If you don't like running, don't run every day, okay? And my second piece of advice is to make a plan, kinda of have a routine, have it written down on your phone. Don't go into something with a wondering mind because you're gonna psych yourself out. Like, just go in there and be like, okay, I'm gonna go in the corner, I'm gonna grab a dumbbell, and I'm gonna do these exercises that I have on my phone. My third and probably my most important piece of advice is stop trying to take away bad habits. You guys have had those bad habits forever, so taking them away is going to be a lot harder than adding a new habit. Like I said, I'm a Christian, so like I believe in the power of prayer, I believe in the power that Jesus has, and he definitely played a part in this because my flesh could not. When I tell you I was addicted to sugar, like. Ugh, it was horrible. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be posting once a week, hopefully twice a week, Lord willing. I would love to do like gym vlogs and like workouts, but like I don't want to just be a channel of just fitness, some Q and A's or anything about Jesus. Just let me know. Yeah, so I really hope this video helped you. If you guys have any questions, send me a DM on Instagram or in the comments and I'll get back to you. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.